Hello, hello, ladies. Sade Jernigan here with lashesinatube.com. Huh? I don't know. Okay, sorry, you guys. So today we're going to be talking about how to curl your hair without damaging it. So I've been hanging out all day with these curlers and my hair. So I have very fine hair. I have to be very, very careful with my hair because as soon as I start using a straightener, a curling iron, instantly, like I could see all these split ends and like just this stuff all over my hair. So I've made it a habit the last 10 years or so that I just, I, well, not 10 years. I would say after I had Luke, I stopped using heat on my hair because I just noticed that it would get so damaged. So what I do is I wash my hair every other night. Um, say I washed my hair that night, I'm gonna do a French braid, right? And I'm just gonna go to sleep like that. My hair's a little bit damp, I do a French braid. And then the next day, not all the time, but I'll try and put some curlers. Um, I got away from it for a while, but you guys, this is going, it's so good for your hair. It's so healthy for your hair. Um, and I'm going to show you what it, the curls look like and they stay when I use a curling iron, the curls will fall out and not be there anymore. But with this, they literally stay They're bouncy curls. They stay, um, almost all day. And there they are. So I'm just going to start taking those out and showing you. If you guys are popping on, say hello. If you're re-watching, hashtag replay. But you guys, you don't have to damage your hair to curl it. Um, you can really... Oh, and you know what? I started doing my hairdresser. Told me to, to use like thermal protection or, or heat protectant um, uh, stuff in my hair. Even if... I'm not curling or blow drying. And the reason is, is because there's outside pollutants. Um, there's the way you brush your hair is kind of rough maybe. Um, the way you sleep. Um, so she has me using the um, heat protectant. And it's just like, I just put like a tiny bit um, and then uh, and then I just run it through my ends and that's it. So it doesn't take a lot of time. I'm super lazy with my hair. Um, I don't like to do anything that takes a long time. I'm going to French braid it. It's going to be a little frizzy. I'm going to wear it straight or I'm just going to stick the curlers in. Hi, Martha. Nothing stays in your hair. Oh, and the other key is though to, um, let your hair, um, be product free and that's what's going to keep the curls better. I noticed that like when I put mousse or like different things in my hair though, it doesn't keep the curl. Nothing stays in your hair. Oh man, like it may be because, um, I actually don't know. I know that everybody's different and maybe these wouldn't stay, I'm not sure. But I just know for me, like if I curl my hair with a curling iron, it's not gonna stay. You know what I mean? Like it just, it, not only is it not gonna stay, but it's gonna give me split ends. So, you know, this is, I mean, worth a try. I mean, you never know. You can always try it, but oh my goodness, I'm obsessed with the curls. Okay, I know this is random, but the last one. Oh, you're so sweet, Audrey, thank you. With the last curling curler, I use this one. See, it ripped out my hair a little bit. I use these little pillow curls, and then I use this one at the top, and I'm gonna tell you why. I like a little oomph at the top, and I feel like that gives it to me, whereas if I use one of these, I'm not gonna get it. So then it's just a matter of figuring out how I'm gonna put my hair. I do not brush the curls out. I, use, I leave this front piece straight, but I just kind of don't want to mess up there and then I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave it like that like super quick and easy I don't want to make it hard or complicated I could just use my finger to make a part and also I love to put my hair half up half down but I've just been super lazy recently and I'm like I'm not even gonna do that I'm just gonna leave it alone because the le least amount of work as possible is the best 
So literally it doesn't take long. I'm gonna show you the back. Okay, so it doesn't take long to do it. I don't put hairspray. Um, I don't put any hairspray. I'm not gonna do anything. I'm just gonna leave it like that and just let that be the, the curls. And then you could just like part it however you want. But you guys, these, and sometimes you could separate it. If you're like, you know what, this looks a little Shirley Temple for me, then what you can do is just kind of space them out and just put your finger through it a little bit so that it separates them. Anyways, and it will give you some more volume. But anyways, I'm like literally obsessed with these curlers. And you know what I love? I love sleeping on them because when I put them in, it's literally, it's like a pillow. It's nice and soft. So when I'm sleeping on them, it's like a little pillow in my hair. And that's why I like it where instead of these, okay? So these, you know, are a little bit more uncomfortable. So if I just use one on the top to give me that little oomph on the, cause usually we like a little oomph on the top. I just do one here and then I'm just gonna do the rest all the way down. I'm gonna pull my hair like this and go boom all the way down. And then that way, say if you're running out the door, you can literally rip out your curlers and run out the door. Like it's so easy. So just the night before, you can put these in super, super ultra fast at night. Put them in your hair real quick, wake up, rip them out, run out the door, and all you have to do is your makeup really quick. So this is like perfect for mommy life because it looks like you put in all this effort you're not putting any product in your hair. You're not putting, I mean, you could if you want. I'm just saying for me, because I don't like the stiff look. I like, like, like I want um, to get more volume. Like I don't want my hair to look flat. And I feel like when I put hairspray, it looks flat and I want it more volume. I want bigger, right? <laughs> um, so I feel like I get the most volume if I just leave it alone, don't put any product in it. Um, because the product is going to make the curls actually fall out, from my experience. Thank you, Audrey. You're so sweet. Your hair is baby fine. Okay, yeah. So my hair is, it's changed a lot. Um, my hair used to be really thin and even more fine than it is now. And what I did to fix that too is I got extensions and it ripped out my hair and I had bald spots like all over my scalp, like bald spots. So I actually wore my hair up for two years and would do like a comb over and just wear my hair up for two years. And what's really helped me um, grow my hair because my hair naturally is even thinner, like very small and thin is... I use Ovation Cell Therapy that grows more, more hair. So my hair naturally isn't this way. Um, it's cause I grow extra, <laughs> I know that sounds funny, but like literally when I use Ovation, all these baby hairs start growing and you may be able to see some of them. Like these are new growth, like baby hairs, this right here. Um, it's because I took a break from Ovation and I started it up again. I took a maybe a couple months break and my hair started growing again. And um, what the Ovation cell therapy treatment does is you let it set it, and you massage it in your scalp and you let it set and it grows more hair. Okay, isn't that cool? So naturally my hair, like if you saw it before, even maybe more before Joel met me, it was even thinner. And the combination between the cell therapy that helped grows my hair, and then the um, the biosil that I take internally that grows your hair, that's made a world of a difference. Um, so um, I know that a genetics has a lot to do with it, but there are some things that you could do to kind of like help help you a little bit because my bald spots didn't leave until I started, you know, doing those things because it was pretty bad. I was like, I wonder if this is permanent, like it's not going to grow back. Um, so I know, like literally you guys, I had depression so bad after I got those extensions taken out, like just thinking about it makes me want to cry, is 
this is so embarrassing. I was so embarrassed about my hair that I spent all my like savings that I saved for a long time. Like I was that insecure about my hair that I spent like $500 on like these extensions that it took them like five hours to maybe it was like anywhere from three to five hours for them to put in my hair. They put like hundreds of like ba like extensions where they would take a little piece of my hair and then they would take this glue and they would literally glue more hair and it was real hair, somebody else's hair, glue it. And then I was so excited because I had this full set of like big hair and like I loved it and I was super excited. And when I got them removed, I was not aware. I was not aware that by them doing those bonds that it was ripping out my hair. Like I, the hair was so heavy that I had like headaches. Like it was just, it was horrible. And when I, <laughs> it's so sad. When I, they removed them and I looked on the floor and I just saw all my hair like falling out because the bond was holding my hair yeah. in and you could see the roots were pulling out. And as soon as they removed it, and I just saw all these bald spots, like I wanted to cry, I, or I did cry. And like, and I walked away with all these bald, bald spots, I like couldn't get out of bed. Like I was literally crying in bed. I was at my dorms, cause I was in college, and I took all my savings for this. You know, I took all my savings, cause I was so insecure about my hair. Um, cause I got a bad haircut, and I wanted my hair to be more. And it, I just couldn't, it wouldn't grow, it wouldn't grow out from this bad haircut that I got. And here I am, spent hundreds of dollars to have bald spots, you know? And it was only like a, a temporary thing that I was all excited about. So um, I cried, I cried. Um, people would ask me, why, why don't you wear your hair down? Why, why do you wear your hair up every day? And I was like, no, I just, I just like my hair up, you know? <laughs> but it was like literally because I had to do a comb over so that they wouldn't, you know, see the bald spots. Um, so I just told everybody that I just loved my hair up all the time. Um, and then even as it started to grow in, I was used to wearing it up all the time that I just didn't feel comfortable wearing it down at all. So I just wore it up for years. And then um, as it was growing in, um, how I was able to do that, and I didn't mean to get into all this, I meant to talk about these curlers, but when I, started um, growing my hair back, it was because of the ovation cell therapy that my friend heard on the radio. And that there are people that say they had cancer and they lost all their hair, or they were just struggling growing their hair, or struggling with um, thinning hair, and it's just so embarrassing. So um, I got it, and you know, it wasn't really cheap. I think it, it's like, for the therapy, it's like $50, but it lasts me at least like three months. And I couldn't believe it. Like I was crying of happiness. Like I literally went to the mirror and I pulled my hair back and I see all these baby hairs like sprouting. Like I know it sounds so dramatic, but I was so excited. Like I couldn't believe it. I was like, oh my goodness. And it's not bad for you. It's healthy for you because it has a lot of like nutrients and vitamins and things that your hair needs and your scalp needs to thrive and to, to be healthy, and I just needed that extra help to help me with my hair. So I just was consistent with doing that ovation, taking the BioSil that helps your hair growth, and doing that for years, and over the time, like, it, my hair was unrecognizable. Um, I was literally like, oh my goodness, like, I've never seen my hair like this before. And then I started getting compliments, and people were like, oh, I love your hair, and it's like, I never got compliments but like that. I'm like, what? My hair? Like, I have horrible hair. You know, like, even my friends would comment how my hair was thin or scraggly or, you know? <laughs> like, so anyways, I just want to give you hope, like, if you feel like I felt, and you feel like you just oh this is how my hair is and you know um it's not true like there's 
things that you may be able to, to help it be better and healthy. And a lot of it's genetics and we can't change. Like my hair is still fine and very light. And you know, sometimes I wish it was more like thicker, coarser or, you know, but you know what? It's okay. Like be happy with God, what God blessed you with, but don't feel discouraged that you can't like improve it. Cause you may be able to just like I did. I thought, I thought there was no like hope and that it was just going to be what it was you know and i did not mean to get into all this you guys um oh where did it where do you get it okay so um uh, on google if you just go on google and you search ovation cell therapy it should pop up the ovation cell therapy.com and they even have testimonials on there like you'll see people like i think there's videos that you could watch where it's really impacted someone i'm like man maybe i should make a video because <laughs> like i literally feel that passionate about it um i i really believe that it truly works and it makes a difference on your hair um so you just want to make sure just like with anything else that you're consistent and then you could also google uh biosil that i either buy from amazon or a website called puritans pride um so you can get that on there as well and that one's clinically proven to improve like um reduce wrinkles um like think it thicken um your hair and also it helps with bones and joints. Uh, it really does, and it also helps with nails. Um, and the reason why it works is because um, it helps your DNA create its own collagen with your own fingerprint, your own DNA. So a lot of times people will take a supplement, they'll take collagen that is taken from like cow's ho hooves and different things like that and they'll ingest collagen and yes it will improve their hair skin and nails but where biosil is like nothing else out there and i've researched you know multiple different products the reason why what sets it apart is it has instead of ingesting collagen it has your body produce its own collagen and that's where it's different um so that is like huge for anti-aging because like when you when you're uh turn 18 18 and, and on your body produces less and less collagen like when you're little your body is going to produce a ton of collagen and that's what's why kids their faces are so plump and like you know everything's just so healthy and vibrant right um collagen is the glue that holds your body together it's what holds your skin firm and and um just uh, they call it like the beauty protein right um uh, but when you turn age 18 your body starts pr producing less and less collagen and then by age 30 it starts to be a little bit more visible like okay you're starting to see a little bit more fine lines and then it goes on and goes on and um, by the time you're really old, it's almost producing nothing, you know? So what BioSeal does is I'm like, okay, if my body is not producing enough, I'm just gonna make my body produce it by taking BioSeal. <laughs> and it's actually also for a health benefit because as you get older, when you're not producing that collagen, your bones weaken and your joints start to hurt. So when you hear people like, oh, my joints or my bones are weak or, you know, they fall and they break their bones, if they were taking collagen all this time, that would have really helped them to strengthen those bones and those joints and, and all of that. So it's not just like a vanity thing. It's also a health thing for when you get older. It's also going to help you as far as staying strong and, and, and all of that. So... That's why I'm like so passionate about BioSil Innovation because it's helped me a lot um, with, with all that. And I know it's like all like, okay, it's just an out, outward appearance that doesn't matter, but the BioSil will definitely help your health um, from the inside. And as you age and as you get older, I think it's something that's really good for, for everybody to take, um, even for, for that standpoint. Um, so anyways, 
I hope you guys have a good day. Also, I wanted to mention, like, if you want to get these, you can Google them as well. Um, they're only about $10 for these. Or maybe it's $9. You can get them at Target. Uh, they're Conair curlers. Um, I forgot exactly what they're called, but you'll recognize them. Um, they're pillow. Maybe they're pillow curlers. I don't remember what they're called. Um, but even if you Google Conair curlers... You could even put pillow curlers and see if they come up. Uh, but you can also order this online. Um, so anyways, I love these. If you want to keep your hair healthy, especially if you have fine hair, um, you just really want to take care of your hair. Be careful with it. Also, your diet is going to make a difference. I know a lot of avocados is good for your, um, your hair as well, like just eating them. Um, and then also, instead of using the blow dryer, um, or like a curling iron, all of that, um, you can use these instead, like I do. Um, if your hair is, some people have really durable hair, and they curl their hair, they straighten it, and they don't get a lot of split ends, like that's awesome. <laughs> like, uh, and you could always use a thermal protectant, like you can spray on like a heat Oh, it cut out. So that when you are curling your hair and all of that, it's going to keep your hair nice and strong. And and um, so if you're like, you know what, I, I got to straighten my hair. I got to curl my hair sometimes. Just make sure you're putting on a protectant before you do that so that you can um, keep your hair still really healthy and everything. So anyways, I better get going, you guys. I hope you have a fabulous day. Thanks for joining me. I love you guys. I appreciate your support, all your likes, all your comments, all your shares. Um, I appreciate it. Oh, Luki's saying bye, bye. <laughs> so love you guys, and I hope you take care.